<laughs> Joining us now is Jennifer LeClaire with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Topeka. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So a big event that just happened, the Big mm -hmm. Easy Bash. Yes. Tell us how that fundraiser went. You know, it was such a fun time. It's hard to believe it's been about a month and a half now. Yeah. Um, but it was our first opportunity hosting a fundraising event at our Adams Club. And I think we look forward to, you know, changes we can make and grow that event uh, moving forward and maybe switch out that theme year by year so people have something to look forward to. Yeah. Do you guys know how much money was raised so far? Um, I would have to look at the totals, um, but it was really, I mean, we had a speaker that came in from Kansas City that was a Boys and Girls Clubs of Kansas City alum. I think that was kind of the, the crowd favorite. She gave a really impactful testimony to just the difference that the club made in her life. Um, so I think that all of the people that were able to attend had a really great time. All right, good to hear. Yeah. Now looking ahead to the next big event coming mm -hmm. up, it's the BGCT Youth of the Year. Talk mm -hmm. about that. So every year we identify um, one of our teen center club members as the Boys and Girls Clubs of Topeka Youth of the Year. They go on to compete in the Boys and Girls Clubs of Kansas Youth of the Year. Then there's a regional competition and a national competition. And really this is kind of a leadership training for these young people. And there are serious scholarship dollars on the line for um, whatever they want to pursue after high school. So it's a great opportunity for them to hone their public speaking skills and the event that we're having will feature our three finalists for BGC Topeka's Youth of the Year. Okay, and there, there's somebody performing that mm -hmm. night too, is that right? Who was yes. that? Yes, so Shelly Wright is um, a native Kansan um, country artist that had a lot of success kind of in the late 90s, but she's more known now for her work as an LGBTQ community activist, and um, she's just such a great role model for our kids of what they can do with a lot of drive. Yeah, when do tickets go on sale? They're going to go on sale this Friday. Okay, and they'll so be yeah, yeah, right through our website. Um, they're very limited because we, the concert um, will have a very kind of intimate feel. She'll interact a lot with the audience, and then our Youth of the Year candidates will give speeches when she takes breaks in her set. Okay, well, that sounds like yeah. a good event. Yeah. Yes. And um, looking ahead to the holiday season, mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, um, mm -hmm. you guys are offering holiday meal boxes. So tell us about that. So um, one of our favorite resources to talk about is our teen center runs and operates a food pantry twice a month um, on the second and fourth Wednesdays of each month. And um, these boxes contain just pantry staples, pasta, peanut butter, things that families need. Um, we let people come on both times. I know that a lot of pantries do track attendance and we just wanna help meet the need wherever it is. Uh, but we also know that the holidays are a time that are even more stressful for a lot of families. So we're inviting the public to support the club by putting together holiday meal boxes. We've even put together a really handy shopping list that's available on our website of things that would be helpful to have in those boxes. Okay, now real quick, we're almost out mm -hmm. of time, but tell us about some of the new programs coming soon to the Teen Center. So we have a new health and wellness coordinator and she is kicking off some culinary classes with our kids. So partnering with Washburn Tech culinary um, graduates and instructors, we'll be able to expose our kids to all kinds of new career opportunities. All right, well, lots of exciting stuff happening. Yeah. Jennifer, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And for more information,